Yo, what's going on everybody? It is straight out of Boston and today I'm back for episode number 14 of my New Orleans Pelicans My League series. So in the conference finals, we're going to be taking on Portland who came back from down three games to two against this Minnesota team. And again, we catch a break. I thought last year we used to be caught a break by facing Utah instead of Golden State. And this time I think this Portland team is a much easier opponent than this Minnesota team. I mean, Minnesota has six players over an 80 overall and Portland only has two and one of them is Mason Plumlee. So anyway... We would win the first two games. Portland, however, with the comeback, they tied up at two games to two, and they're going to win a game five on our home court, setting up a game six with our backs against the wall in Portland. Now, this was one of the last regular season episodes for this season, and we demolished Portland in Portland, so we have a lot of confidence going up against this team in this building, but still, we have our backs against the wall. It is a must-win ball game. You know they're going to be out in full force, so let's see how it goes. Mo Harkless. With the lane right there, putting Portland up 6-2 early. Now it's an 8-7 ball game here. Lonzo Ball looking for Doncic coming off the screen. He is going to nail the three right there. Wide open. Nothing but net. And we've got a three-point lead early on. Now Harkless going around this screen. He's going to run a little pick and roll with Mason Plumlee right there. And Plumlee with the nice left-handed lane. So a close game early on here. Neither team obviously gaining much of a lead. They're already doubling Doncic. That leaves Ball wide open. He's going to nail that three-pointer. And we were looking to shoot the three ball. We knew that this Portland team was going to be one that could score. That's obviously kind of where they make their their hay, I guess, where they make their name for themselves is on offense, not really on defense. So we knew we were going to have to score a lot. And I wanted to, uh, you know, not shy away from taking a lot of three-pointers early. Zebo absolutely baptizes somebody right there. That was a huge poster. McCollum now with a nice pass to Lillard from behind the line. He's going to nail that three-pointer, make it a five-point game. It is Noah with the ball, finding Davis down low in the post. And Davis bodying his man. One-handed slam on Azealia right there. Nine-point lead it is for the Pelicans. But it's a corner three-pointer for McCollum. And those are like layups for CJ McCollum. So it's a four-point game now. 43-239. Ball, though, getting to the paint. Nice left-handed land. Getting around Evan Turner right there using the glass. Eight-point game here still late. Actually, about midway through this second quarter, it is Harkless. Another three-point attempt. And that one is good. So second off Harkless a little bit too much here early on. Now a seven-point lead. Ball driving. He's going to hit Papa Giannis, whose man left him wide open under the basket. And that's going to make it an 11-point lead now, 57-46. Harkless with a good pass to Pat Connaughton in the corner. Connaughton is going to get the shooter's roll right there and get the lead back down to five. And now Connaughton with the rebound, running the fast break. He's going to kick this one up to his man, Della Vadova. That's a corner three-pointer, and it's a two-point game. Now time winding down in the second quarter. Harkless pulls up from deep, and he nails it. A three-pointer at the buzzer, and the Portland takes the lead right at the half. They've got all the momentum right now. A, uh, I think that was a 9-0 run there to end the half on three straight three-pointers. So Portland catching fire a little bit as the time expired. We're both shooting 50%. And let's get things started in the third quarter. It's McCollum with the offensive rebound, and this is where the Portland offense started to take over. McCollum just pulling up from deep right there. That makes it a six-point game. We try to answer back with Josh Jackson. That one rims out Plumley with the rebound. Here we go now, McCollum. You really got to stay up on McCollum because he can pull up at any time. This time he steps back and nails the three in Andrew Harrison's face. Now it's an 11-point lead, 68-57. They've opened up a double-digit lead there first in the night. We finally end the scoring drought four minutes into the quarter with a Josh Jackson land. Now it's a seven-point game. Here is Turner looking deep to Noah Vonley, and Zebo fell asleep right there. So it's still hanging around nine right now is the lead, but it's a seven-point game. We find Anthony Davis in the corner. That's a green release, and that is cash money right there. We get the lead down to four now, 81-77. Another three-pointer this time from Robert Covington, who rattles it home. And Covington actually got the start today. Oh, for Papianis, I wanted to go with a little bit three-point shooting, a little bit more three-point shooting in the starting lineup. He was pretty cold, though, throughout the night shooting the ball, so... Didn't really have a big effect on the game offensively. Davis nails the jumper right there. We're tied at 88. Lillard going around. His man pulls up from three and nails it. Portland up by two. Now still up by two. Ball with the ball. He's running up the court. He's going to pull up from deep. Nails it. Foot on the line, however, it would be a two. So we're up by two now. 100 to 98. Amir Johnson with the rebound. Aminu up to McCollum. who's going to pull up from three. CJ McCollum gives Portland the lead. So now it's a one-point game. Doncic trying to get around McCollum. He draws the foul and one. A three-point play of his own. But now Portland back up by two. It's Lillard stepping back in the corner. That one's no good. But the offensive rebound for Amir Johnson and one. It's a three-point game now. Portland up with two minutes to play. 
potentially just two minutes left in New Orleans season. How will they respond? Ball getting to the basket, and it's a one-point game. Now still a one-point game, 30 seconds to play. New Orleans desperately needs a stop. It's McCollum getting around his man, and he's got the land. It's a three-point game with 30 seconds to play. So we either need a three or a quick two. What are the Pelicans going to do on offense? Ball tries to go down low with the pick and roll, and he turns it over. Lillard is fouled. And now it's a five-point game. We need a three. We need it quick. Doncic here with the catch and shoot. That's no good. We do get the offensive rebound. Ball back out to Doncic one more time. No good. Another offensive rebound. Doncic third time's the charm. Yes, sir. And it's a two-point game again. We need a foul quickly, however. Harkless gets it in. It's one of their best three free throw shooters in McCollum. He knocks down two of two. So it is a four-point game on the inbound. Trying to cheat a little bit. Get up the court quickly. But Lillard with the heads-up play. And that is going to seal the deal. The Trailblazers are going to win 118 to 112. And just like that, our season is over. Unbelievable. That is how the season ends for the Pelicans. A 64 team, a 64 win team in the regular season. But they fall at the hands of the Trailblazers in six games in the conference finals. So that is going to do it. That is too bad. We're going to have the offseason coming up next. And then because I am a little bit pressed for time with my going abroad and everything on Sunday. I'm going to be pretty much simulating through the entire regular season. I'm going to do an off-season video, and then I'm going to do a year four sim video, and then we'll get to the playoffs, and then I might even send the first couple rounds of the playoffs, try to get back to where we got to this year, and then maybe pick up from there. But that is going to be my plan for this series, because I want to get through year four. I want to win a title, but I want to do that quickly. So that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And as I'm out, you can take a look at the, I don't want stats, I completely forgot we're doing the stats. Davis, he had such a monster game, 30 and 18 on 15 shots, and we still couldn't win. That is so disappointing. I'm out. Peace.